Yesterday, I got this message on my phone telling me that there's an issue with the 12 volt battery. So I went in the car today and there is a message down here. It says schedule service to replace low voltage battery. Software will not update until battery is replaced. There's a button for learn more. Let's see what that says. Okay, it says V-Front A182 warning. This alert means that the low voltage battery is showing degraded performance and needs to be replaced. It's recommended that you have the low voltage battery replaced at your earliest convenient opportunity. You can schedule service via your Tesla mobile app or with an independent service provider that provides low voltage battery replacement for your vehicle. So I am at the Tesla service center right now. I'm going to go inside the Tesla service center and talk to them about getting the 12 volt battery so that I can install it myself when I get home. All right, success. I scored myself a new 12 volt battery. I was able to purchase it for $85 plus tax from the service counter. They gladly sold it to me and I can install it myself with no problem. I must say coming to the service center, try to avoid mornings because you get tons of people dropping off vehicles. I came just before noon and it was nice and quiet. So if you just wanna to talk to somebody at the service desk, since you can't call directly, I recommend going to the counter and just getting it done. This took me a, a total of 15 minutes and I'm out the door. Tonight, I'm gonna to install it in the car and I'll show you the process. So here we're in my garage. I'm gonna be doing this inside today because it's kind of noisy outside and with the pollen dropping, it's kind of messy. So this is actually a great place to do it since I have a lot of light in here. A little bit more about my car. This is a 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. It's a very early production with a VIN of 14,000 that I received in May of 2018. I had the first 12 volt battery replacement in September of 2021, which was actually pretty decent, about three and a half years of use of the battery and 12 volt batteries tend to get used very hard on EVs and usually need to be replaced every two to three years, maybe four years if you're lucky. The first battery replacement was done under warranty since I was originally under the 50,000 mile four year warranty. And this one is outside the warranty. So the first one I got replaced for free. This one I had to pay for myself. It's actually relatively inexpensive at $85 for the battery. A lot of third party 12 volt AGM batteries are way in the hundred to $150 range. So I think Tesla has a pretty good price on theirs. Here are the things I'm gonna be using today for this project. I have a towel. You can also use t-shirts. This is for making sure that the terminal leads do not touch any bare metal on the car. Next, I have a set of work gloves with rubber coating. I also have a ratchet wrench with a 10 millimeter socket that I'm going to be using to loosen the bolts on the battery terminals and also on the piece that holds the battery in place. In addition, I have a torque wrench, which I'm going to be using with the 10 millimeter socket. And this is going to be for the final tightening of all the bolts to make sure they have the correct torque. And that's it. These are all the items I'm going to be using today. So let's get started. All right. First thing I want to do is open the rear door. I need access to the high voltage uh, cutoff underneath the rear seat. So remember to leave that open. Let's go inside. The instructions suggest to open all the windows 
So I'm going to do that. Also, I need to open the hood. We will definitely leave the driver's side door open so we can get access to the interior if we need it. And that's about it for the interior. Once the hood is open, we can remove the service panel right here. It just snaps out and we'll place that aside. Another thing I'm going to pop out is the intake for the HVAC since it does block the battery that simply pops out. I'll put that to the side. And now we have clear view of the battery here. Of course, pollen gets in everywhere. All right, let's go back inside the car. Go to the vehicle menu. Then we go to safety. Scroll down to the bottom and do power off. Are you sure you want to turn the power off? Place foot on brake to turn power back on. So we'll do power off. All right, with power off, do not sit back into the seat again because you may accidentally turn it on or press any of the buttons or pedals because we want this to stay off. Leave the door open. Here we have a view of the 12 volt battery under the hood. We have the positive terminal in red on the left hand side and the negative terminal in black on the right side. I'm going to loosen up this 10 millimeter bolt right here. At this point, we can grab this and place it aside. I am going to use this t-shirt over here and wedge it in the corner so it doesn't move. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And now the negative terminal is free. At this point, I need to go to the rear seat. There are two tabs on the edge of the seat right here that you pull, and then the whole seat lifts up. Underneath, we have this black styrofoam pad. We move this out of the way and under here, we have the high voltage uh, to 12 volt connector. So what we're gonna do is gonna push down on this lever here and pull this out. And now the high voltage battery is disconnected from the 12 volt. So we are safe to continue on. Take the red cap on the positive terminal and pull it off. And what we're going to do now is loosen this 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to pull this away from the battery terminal. And this is where we're going to put a rag around here so that this does not touch anything metal. So we'll keep that aside. There is a vent connected to the very far right side of the battery where the negative terminal is, a little plastic tubing. What you need to do is pull on that and release it. And then we will put that aside. That will be reconnected later. Using the 10 millimeter wrench, I am going to loosen this on the top. This is the bracket that holds the battery in place. This 
nut off. All right, so we have the nut loosened and removed. Now we can take this off and this off. And here we have the 12 volt battery is ready to be removed. There is a handle right here. So pull up on the handle and be careful because this weighs around 20 to 25 pounds. So pull it straight up and out and try not to touch anything. Here we have the old battery and we have some information down here. Part number, serial number, born on date here is uh, August 9th, 2021. So this was installed in um, September 2021, so it was fairly new. It's in Hankook 85B24LS 12 volt, 45 amp hour battery and made for Tesla Motors. So that is the old. Let's move that to the side. Here is the new. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's dusty. Pull this out. And here we go. Man, they stored this in a really dusty location here. So, yep. Let me move this one over a little bit so you can see the two. Yep, so identical in size. The interesting thing is I have to move the little exhaust from the old one to the new one. So don't forget to do that. Put the exhaust vent plug right here. And otherwise it's very similar with the, this one being an Atlas BX dynamic power, same part number, pretty much same everything. So I will now put this into the car. All right, now I will carefully place the battery inside the compartment. Push the handle down. Now I gotta put the mount back on. You can slide this part underneath first. There's a hook right in the front. And then there's another back here. You can slide that over it. There we go. Put this piece back on. Put the nut back on. I'm gonna hand tighten that. All right, so you screw this down until this stops moving. Then I'm gonna use the torque wrench. Make sure it's set to the proper setting for this is six Newton meters or 4.4 foot pounds. And then I'm gonna turn it until it clicks and it clicks. So that is good. Now take the vent tube and attach it to the port There we go. At this point, we can go back to the rear seat, lift up the rear seat mat, move the black styrofoam out of the way, place the 12 volt connector onto the high voltage plug, and we are gonna push it all the way down, and then it will snap into place. Tug on it, make sure it's firmly seated. It is good. Now put 
the styrofoam back on again and then we can close the seat and re-snap them on. All right, now we get the positive terminal ready here. Take this red cap off, we don't need that. Place this over the terminal. Make sure it's all the way down and then hold the wires in place and then use the 10 millimeter wrench on it. All right, like before, it's also suggested to use a torque wrench to do the final tightening. And it's the same setting as the bolt for the top. All right, so that one is secure. Then we can place the red rubber cover over it. Now for the negative terminal, remove the plastic cover. I'm gonna move the terminal connector right here. I also have a accessory on here that I am going to attach like so, so I can hold it and not touch any of the metal. So make sure you're not touching any metal here and then push it all the way down. Now use the 10 millimeter, tighten this. And then the final torque. All right, we are now done. We have the 12 volt battery, the old one taken out, got the new 12 volt battery in place. We have the terminals connected and it is ready to run. Take all the components that we removed and put them back into position. Here I'm taking the HVAC intake, putting that back in and then take the service cover place it over and then press in all the snaps. A quick safety thing, uh, make sure you leave this little tag out with the fireman hat symbol on it. This is useful if in case there's an accident and rescue crews need to disconnect the high voltage battery from the car. This is what they need to do. So make sure that's visible and close the hood. Once I closed everything up, I go inside the car and press the brake pedal to turn the car on. I make sure that there's no errors come up on the screens. Everything looks good, so we are ready to drive. Another thing I wanna mention is that the old 12 volt battery, you should take that to a recycling center if you have one locally or to a shop or auto parts store that takes those. It's definitely the right thing to do. Well, that's about it for this video. I did the 12 volt battery replacement, something that I haven't had to do myself since the first one was done by Tesla under warranty. So I thought it was something good to show everybody how to do themselves. Tesla even gives you the instructions on their website. So I have the link for that in the video description. All the tools and parts that I used in this video are also in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.